that we need a radically, radically more diverse set of people to build those products, to not see computers as mechanical and lonely and boring and magic, to see them as things that they can tinker and, and turn around and twist and so forth. So I think if we think of technologies in the right way, but that's a big if, this will not happen automatically. It's only if we think of them in the right way, we really can break out of old, outmoded approaches to learning to move away from the transmission delivery model of learning to a mo new model of learning where people are constantly learning by creating models, building things, exploring new ideas in collaboration with one another. We have not so much electricity. Lights will come um, once in a week and uh, the rest of the month are dark. So I made my own battery to power lights in people's houses. Calvin represents learn by making. He takes a part, looks at it, tries to reverse engineer it. How can we create schools that are places for learning? Well, I think the first thing we have to do, all of us, as educators, as parents, as policymakers, is to go back to the beginning question and ask ourselves, what do we believe? And to articulate those beliefs out loud, to write them down, to share them with other people. And then, once we've done that as individuals, I think we need to come together as schools and articulate those beliefs together to create principles, if you will, of what we think learning looks like in our schools, in our places, in our classrooms with our kids. And then finally, once we've done that, I think we need to align our practice to our beliefs. Teaching and learning should bring joy. How powerful would our world be if we had kids who, who were not afraid to take risks, who were not afraid to think, and who had a champion? Every child deserves a champion, an adult who will never give up on them, who understands the power of connection and insists that they become the best that they can possibly be. And every day, everywhere, our children spread their dreams beneath our feet. And we should tread softly. Thank you.